Yo, YouTube, Ravens Flock, what's up? It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. Uh, back after another video, man. If you like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, please hit subscribe, man. When you guys uh, like the videos, comment now. Push this out to a wider audience, man. So, you know, go ahead and do that for me, all right? Listen, we're going to talk about the fact that the Ravens are in the midst of an identity crisis today. And whether or not they resolve this identity crisis could be a major turning point in the season. And don't just take it from me. Listen to what Lamar Jackson has to say about it. The pass the ball extremely well. The running game is, wasn't the running game that we've seen from the Ravens in the past. What do you think is the biggest factor in that right now? It's not the Ravens in the past no more. You know, it's just the NFL. It's a new era. We got to play ball. We got to know pass will work. We got to keep passing it. We're doing it. You know, we had some success running the ball because we did score on the long one. You know, we ain't going to say that, but we just got to finish. That's the main thing because we was up. We just got to finish, man. All phases. QB1. That's his thoughts about it. If the Ravens are passing the ball well, let's keep going with the passing game. Obviously, the run game isn't working at the moment, right? But, you know, Lamar is a quarterback. Of course, he wants to throw the ball. Uh, do the numbers back up what he's saying, though, all right? We look at it. The Ravens are 12th in total offense. Not great. You know, middle of the pack, kind of, you know, but to that upper part, to that upper portion. But here, here, here we go now. 19 passing yards per game. First in passing yards per completion. We're talking about 13.9 yards per completion for the Ravens this season so far. All right. Lamar Jackson is third in the league in passer rating. Lamar Jackson has six touchdowns, one interception, 265 yards a game this season. That's, that's what he's averaging. All right. This pass game right now is literally carrying the team. Lamar Jackson himself is literally carrying the team. Now, in the rushing game, we know that it's a major issue. Because once again, Lamar Jackson is the team's best rusher. He's the team's only rusher at this point, honestly. He has, he leads the team in passing. He leads the team in rushing once again. I believe he's at 150 yards so far this season. The next closest guy, is not even worth mentioning, is Kane Drake, and he's nowhere near close to that. All right. He's averaging about two yards to carry. Justice Hill is averaging four yards to carry. Uh, I think Mike Davis might be averaging two or three yards to carry as well. All right. This one game, as far as the running back goes, 29 carries, 74 yards. All right? Now, if there was any other team in the league that had Lamar Jackson, they would turn over the ship to him and say, hey, look, man, you take it to the victory. But the Ravens are still kind of stuck in the mentality of this is the way we got to do it. And that mentality can be traced back to obviously the fact that, you know, John Harbaugh is the head coach and that Greg Roman is the current offensive coordinator, man. Now, Greg Roman caught a pretty good game versus the uh, the Dolphins, so I'm not here to rag on Greg Roman or anything like that. My point is the fact that Lamar Justin said that this is not the Ravens of the past anymore. And it feels like we're kind of stuck in that past mentality. The Ravens, as crazy as it sounds, probably need to transfer to a more pass-heavy, pass-first kind of offense, at least for the time being. Until J.K. is back, until Gus is back, there just aren't any explosive running backs right now on this team that's worth um, consistently trying to run the ball with them. All right. The one big play Justice Hill had, if he cuts it up, it's a touchdown. But instead, he cuts to the sideline and he's out of bounds. <laughs> like, the running game and the running backs right now are not the strength of the team. The strength of the team is number eight. It's Lamar Jackson. So you lean on Lamar Jackson. And I'm not talking about leaning on his legs. I'm talking about lean on his arm. Now, when I say this, you're going to be like, how can you compare the two teams? The Bills and the Ravens should have similar game plans. But how can you say that, right? As it currently stands right now, the Ravens and the Bills are the two most efficient passing offenses in the NFL. Yeah. Yes, the Ravens are right there with the Buffalo Bills with Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, and stuff like that. They're there because of Lamar Jackson, because of Rashad Bateman, all right? Mark Andrews. This team... It's not loaded with weapons. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't, don't hear me say that like, oh, yeah, no, this team has everything. What I'm saying is the approach that they have right now can end up costing the team down the line or at least until uh, the better reinforcements come back. All right. Now, I'll look at something else. When it comes to passing the ball on first down, right, the Ravens are 18th in the NFL. It's too predictable. If you're going to run the ball all the time on first or, or a lot of time on first down, you're too predictable. When the passing game is working, the Ravens have an issue. 
like I said, they have an, they have an identity crisis. And it's up to them to solve it. When will they realize that, hey, look, we got Lamar Jackson here. We got a guy that's playing lights out right now, balling. We need to lean on him and put the game on his shoulders more often. We look at the Dolphins game. Now, I'm not a guy that's overly upset with the team going forward on fourth and one um, in the fourth quarter. But I can understand everybody saying, hey, look, kick the field, we'll take the points, you got Justin Tucker. And I agree with that. My biggest issue is every fourth down and one, it's always the same play call. Everybody at the line of scrimmage, hey, Lamar Jackson, uh, QB power, find somewhere to go. Can we get some more creative plays on fourth and one? Can we do play action? Hit a guy, hit a guy open, something. If I know what you're going to do, I'm sure the NFL defensive coordinator knows what you're going to do. I'm sure, I'm sure the NFL players you're going against know what you're going to do. To me, that was the biggest issue. We get to fourth and one, and there's no creativity. We say we're going to do one thing and one thing only, and that's it. And that's an issue right there. Now, another issue with the Ravens, obviously, is um, their third down conversions. They're about 18th in the NFL right now. Now, I know that's not great for a team, what I'm saying it should be a passing offense, but it also it shows that they need to construct some better plays to get guys open on these kind of situations. There's also one of the plays out there to get it done. I get that. Um, but at the end of the day, the Ravens have an MVP quarterback. They have a guy who can lead a team. And in a sense, they're not letting him lead the team to his complete and full capacity. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean that you go full Buffalo Bills and don't try to run the ball at all. But you do put the ball in Lamar Jackson's hands and you let him make the play. Right now, the Ravens are kind of still stuck between two worlds. Do we want to be this? power run team that we think we are or do we want to be this passing team and I can tell you right now they probably don't want to be the passing team but that's what they're set up to do Lamar Jackson has only been sacked twice this season twice now we know last year the offensive line at least pass like wise was awful it's almost flipped this year the run blocking hasn't been that great but the pass blocking Lamar Jackson has been pretty comfortable I can only think of, obviously, that amazing play versus the Jets when he should have been sacked a couple of times, but that's only one play. That only would have been in one sack. So two games, two sacks. When we played last year, the first game versus the Raiders, they had two sacks in the first quarter, it seemed like. They probably did. The Ravens have, for the first time in a long time, the ability to lean on the passing game, and they're choosing to be the Ravens of old and lean on the running game. When the running game is showing right now, it has no effectiveness. It's not worth to even try to do it. Now, you want to keep defenses honest, and I get that. You want to be balanced. But at the same time, when your most explosive runner is probably Justice Hill, it's not worth doing what the Ravens are doing and trying to run the football as much. Lamar Jackson is an MVP. Lamar Jackson is a guy who has been pretty good to start this season. All right? I would say that but outside of... That pick six he really almost threw to Xavier Howard in you know last week you know versus the Dolphins, he's been pretty spot on with almost all his passes, and you can tell in this post game press conference that he was ticked off not just about the loss but the fact that it seems like they won't commit to fully giving him the ball and giving him the keys. He said it, man. This is a new era. We pat you pass the ball more in today's NFL. The fact that the Ravens are so gung ho and content on just saying no. We're going to do it this way. This is the only way. This is what I mean when I say that they have an identity crisis. Because most teams around the NFL will look at, that's Lamar Jackson. He's throwing the ball well. Uh, he's starting the season off great. He's an MVP. He's a top-notch quarterback. Uh, once again, why are we running this kind of offense? You know? But that's, that's the Ravens' way. They don't always, they don't switch for anybody. They do what they're going to do. And that's the issue. That's the issue right now. That, that's why I say the Ravens have an identity crisis. They have a team where they can throw the ball with the best of them, literally. I, I'm gonna put, I, I got the chart up there. They can throw the ball with literally the best of them. If I was to tell anybody the Buffalo Bills passing offense and the Ravens passing offense were near each other, you wouldn't believe it. But it's the truth. It's the truth right now. Now, like I said, it's two games. It's a small sample size. But that sample size could be something that continues to go throughout the season. 
Because just because J.K. Dobbins gets back, just because Gus Edwards gets back, even though I think that will help the run game, there's no guarantee that these guys who are blocking will automatically just become better run blockers. There's no guarantee of it. The Ravens have to adjust and adapt. And that's two things that Greg Roman hasn't been that great at, if we're being honest. Adjusting and adapting to his personnel, to how the team is playing, to the current situation. And the current situation is that Rashad Bateman's playing well, Lamar Jackson's playing well, Mike Andrews had a great game versus the Dolphins. Uh, we hope that, you know, David Duvernay can come back and be effective once again. Um, you know, I think he had a concussion last game, so we'll see what happens with him. But the Ravens have a passing offense that is actually good, and they continue to be the same old Ravens. Will that be fixed? Will they do something about it? We don't know. All we think we can do is hope. And I'm tired of hoping for that. The Ravens should have noticed that, hey, look, man, Lamar Jackson is the real deal, obviously. Let's get behind him. Let's put the game on his shoulders and see what he can do. It reminds me, a lot of people have been saying it reminds people of the standout that Russell Wilson and the Seahawks had. Now, I won't go that far, but when you have a team who is stuck in one way and have a quarterback who's a top-notch guy who wants to throw the ball, issues can occur. That's all I'm going to say about that, all right? Uh, the Ravens have a running game, like I said. The running backs have, let me check it one more time, 29 carries for 74 yards on the season as a collective through two games. All right, so 74 yards wouldn't put the Ravens anywhere near uh, that 17th mark that they have. That all is because of Lamar Jackson. They have the MVP of the league, a guy who's looking he's going to be in the MVP race again, and they won't put the ball all, and they won't put the game all the way on his shoulders. That's an issue. Um, so when I saw Lamar Jackson say that, it made me want to do this video. Because obviously he feels like it's time for me to start passing the ball more. It's time for this, this Ravens offense to lean towards me. And not, not my legs, but my arm. And it's like he's, he's asking for that. He's crying out for that. Will they do it? I don't know. I, we, we don't know. I won't believe it until I see it. But for right now, Ravens have a massive identity crisis. And the only way that they can fix it is trusting their QB1. Now it all depends on will John Harbaugh do that? Or will he say, no, we're good where we are, no need to overreact, and we'll keep everything the same. So, until next time, let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabriel, just on the fan TV. I'm out.